Jackson and I am the Reborn Artist at Little Loves Nursery. Today I'm going to demonstrate doing micro rooting on one of Bountiful Baby's preemie kits. What you first want to do is grab a small amount of mohair. I always put my kit down and I go back straight in the middle and over a tiny bit is where I start my swirl. You're going to want to hold your needle at a good angle so your hair is going to follow a natural growth pattern. After each hair that goes in, you slightly turn the head. You want to make sure while you're rooting that you're only getting one to two hairs per plug. As you get further out on your swirl, you can go one or two rows out before you have to turn your head again. Once you have about six or seven layers coming out from the center, you will start to notice that you have created a swirl. This is when I stop my swirl and then I go and I start where my hairline is going to be. With the same method, I take a small strip of hair and I take from the nose straight up to the middle and I start my root, my micro rooting. This is more random than when you're doing your swirl. Doing your swirl, you really want to make sure you're getting the piece in the right spot. Where this one, you can kind of guess about where you want your hair to lie. You want to make sure you're still going in at an angle so the hair will lie flat on the baby's head when you are finished. And that is it is all going in the right direction. You can also go into the middle of the hair and do a few punches at a time and then check. That will help you go a little quicker. But then you want to make sure you don't get too many hairs per plug. If you're getting more than two hairs, you can always go in, gently pull one, and it should take the whole hair out. Once I get a nice little group here, I like to kind of look at the doll's head to find out how I want the hair to flow. If I want a receding hairline, I'll start this now. Just kind of going back. This is kind of like your rough draft. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. You just basically want to get the outline of how you want your doll's hair to be. but still making sure you're going in at an angle. 
I have rooted all the way around the head, starting from the front, and the sides, and then the back. Now I'm going to finish my swirl and bring the hair together. The same way as before, I'm going to grab a small amount of hair. But now I'm going to start going further out. I'm going to bring my first set all the way up to meet with my other mohair. Still following the same swirl path. And I'll do this all the way around the head. Finished the head completely. She has her swirl and she's been rooted all the way around. Now I start the cutting. I will take a segment at a time and I dampen the hair before I cut and I just use any old scissors and make a cut. The good thing to remember is you can always go shorter but you can never get the hair back if you cut it too short. So you just Go around the doll. Just to get to approximately the length that you like it. I go out about an inch from the doll's head. That way I can go keep it that length or go in a little closer. Now you're going to do this all the way around the head. Now I have completely finished cutting the hair and it's still damp and you can see how the swirl is right here and then she is finished.